Virginia's Dominion Power Coal Company in Chester, Virginia, has accumulated all this toxic waste called coal ash. And what do you think they want to do with it? Dump it in the James River. So, so I went down to protest. What else? Loudoun County, because I'm concerned about Dominion's reputation, uh, particularly when it comes to questions of clean water, among other things. Uh, I am not here as an elected official, although I am elected uh, in Loudoun County to the Soil and Water Conservation District there, and I'm the treasurer of that district. Uh, I'm concerned about mingling the millions of gallons of water with heavy metals, as referenced by the last speaker, mercury, lead, arson. It's a deadly menace, A, to humans, B, to the life of the river, and also to aquatic life. And at a time when the sturgeon we've discovered is apparently recovering in what we believe was its extermination, its extinction. Yet, here we are talking about what levels of poisons we may release into the James River. The, uh, what are our concerns? I share the same concern about the temperature of the water coming out. I reference it supposedly in the 90s. That's the temperature of the water. We have to talk about it being cooler. We have to be concerned about this uh, toxic soup that we're preparing to release into the James River, intending to do so. Um, and whether or not that compares to the negligence that occurred in Flint, Michigan. And remorse and regret is not an acceptable approach to how we deal with the safety of our rivers and water and what downstream lives because that river lives, placed there because that river lived. Uh, we propose to mimic the Remo permit, as I understand it, and that was appealed and revised and approved, and it can be approved again, it should be approved again. Uh, it's too late after the trigger hits to deal with the remorse that we should have done more, and yet that's where we stand at that threshold. We must enhance the treatment of the discharge of waters, and we must have stricter allowable thresholds, as the last speaker said, and I join her in that respect. For that respect. The volume of the discharge of waters, uh, if we go forward with this, have to be decreased, along with the velocity of the waters that we're proposing. And the samples of fish tissue and so forth to determine uh, the viability of aquatic life there has to be a time reference to when the sample is taken, when a report must be given, so that the feedback loop actually means something when we are testing uh, the tissue to see what dangers, if any, are being presented by the discharge into this river. Thomas Jefferson gave us some instruction on how to measure environmental offenses. Uh, Jefferson thought the proposition self-evident, he said this in a letter to Madison, uh, quote, that the earth belongs and Yusufruk to the living. Yusufruk is a term I'm sure you're familiar with, uh, Mr. Dunn. By that term, Yusufruk, Jefferson meant that while one may derive a benefit from a river, the James in this case, the fructus, the fruit, one may only use the river if one doesn't alter uses. So that there is something for her daughter to go into a stream with perhaps her children years from now, and that people may fish and may use the river and so forth. Yes, I can, uh, as, as verbose an Irishman as I may be. Uh, it's, it's said that uh, one of the defense all the time is that it has to be economically feasible. Well, that's fine. We've been underwriting toxic uh, fossil fuel plants and should not underwrite this by our health and the risk of the life of the river. Thank you, sir, for your time. Thank you. A lot of good people spoke out against this project.